Today we will solve lead code problem number 733 and it says flood fill and it has been asked quite a few times in some of the interviews of Amazon and Google and it's one of the easier problems. So here the goal is that you are given uh, an image, an image you can think of as a 2D grid of pixels and here each pixel has some value, some integer values. So this uh, one integer denotes one color. So if you look at this image, you see that uh, these all are zero. So these all pixel are of same color. Zero is one of the colors. Similarly here, this is zero. These are three, three. And you see uh, that these, a few pixels are having color of two. And these are connected. And here by connected, we mean uh, four neighborhood connectivity. There can be multiple definitions of connectivity. So we have one central pixel. So four connectivity means this is a neighbor of, so this is this main pixel we are talking about. These four are neighbors of this pixel. In another definition, there can be eight connectivity, eight neighborhood connectivity. In that case, even the diagonal will be considered as connected. But in this problem, we will just see the four neighbor connectivity. So let's say you are asked to flood fill at this pixel. So you must have used uh, some uh, painting tools like uh, MS Paint or some similar tool where you uh, take a ink and you drop the ink somewhere. Then you see that some of the pixels which are connected to it, the pixel where you drop the ink and are of the same color as the, as the pixel where you drop the ink. Those all will get the new color. So let's say I drop the ink at two and I drop a green color. Green may be any of these colors, maybe one, zero, three, we don't know. So if we drop ink at two, we will see that two will become green for sure. Then we will see what are the pixels that are connected to it, which are of the same color as two. So three is connected, but it's different color, so its color will not change. Then this two is connected and its color is same as the, the this pixel two. So we change it to green as well. And then we look at the connected pixels of this. And these two are the connected of the same color. So these two also get the color of green. Now in the right, this is of different color. On the top and the last neighbor, we see that it's of the same color. So we color it green. Now here we look at its neighbor. One, different color. Two, different color because earlier it was two. Now it, now it is green. Green may be five. So again, it will be different color, top, different color, right, same color, two. So make it green as well. And now we look at its neighbor. It has become green. It is different color, different, different. So we stop. So this will be the output. So how we will proceed? So we will be given one function, flood fill. You will be given this image, which will be a 2D grid and you will be given one row and column coordinates. For example, this cell denotes two comma three. Two comma two, sorry. So you will be given this. And you are given a color, let's say green. This will be an integer. In place of this color, it will be some integer like one, two or five so let's run through this, this example. So we come here. We see it's same color as the color we are trying to assign or not. So there may be a possibility that this is two already, but you are asked to color it with two. In that case, you will return straight away. Why? Because all of the neighbors which are two, which, which will be the target color are already of the same color. So you will, you will be stuck in loop. So you, it's two, you make it again two, and then you look at its neighbor, it's two, so uh, it's the same color as this, so we make it two, and then we look at its neighbor, so you will again find this two, because this is same as the old color. So in that case, there is no point in proceeding. If the new color is same as the current color, we return straight away. But let's say it's not that case, then we will color two with green, we will look at its neighbor, which are of the same color, the old color. 
now this has 5 but the old color was 2 so this never has 2 we color it green similarly this never this never this and this so this should be the output so let's write the pseudo code for this so this is our color so we will check if uh, this image rc it's same as this color so already it was same color so we return no point in proceeding further otherwise let's define a function recursive function uh, fill and you pass these things color and we also pass old color and here what we will do uh, we will first assign it new color or this is color here then we will do fill on its neighbor that is r plus 1 c and the other things remain same and r plus 1 c denotes if this is r and c r plus c denotes this one exactly below then we will do r minus 1 c so same column one row less so it will be this one next neighbor is this one so it will be in the same row this is r same row one more column so this will be uh, r c plus one other things remain the same so i'm not writing it and the last neighbor will be r c minus one which is this neighbor and ultimately this will again look at it neighbors and we will have a check here that old color should should not be same as the current r and c values same as this so we will return in that case so let's write the code for this quickly in c then we will write in java and python as well so if image r c equal to new color then return image here the return type is this vector vector int which is same as the image so we have to return the int otherwise let's define a function and pass on all the parameters and one new parameter which is old color if r is less than 0 simple bound check or c is less than 0 these are invalid indices it can be possible let's say you uh, you reached here you called for this and now r is 3 so it's one of the neighbors will be here r plus 1 c so this is more than the size similarly if you are on the edge this edge either top or left it can be negative or r greater than equal to image dot size or c greater than equal to image 0 dot size so image dot size will be number of rows we go one level deep image 0 dot size will be number of columns or old color is not equal to this image rc then we return else
let's make it RNC a new color and finally old color R minus one R C plus one C minus one and same thing here uh, it should be SR and SC and old, old color is this one image R C and finally we have to return also so we will return image and here we are modifying the input image as itself so we are not using any extra space for this and that's it that should work so let's try oh image rc here it's src in the input line 4 so there is some runtime error maybe we are accessing some stack overflow on address I'm not sure what is the error so let's log something here what are the indices that are getting called Okay, so maybe it's getting stuck somewhere. And what is the test case? It's 112. So it calls for 11, then 21, then 01. Okay, I got it. We are not changing the color here. So it will keep on doing this. So we have missed the main thing of coloring it. Image R C equal to new color this was the main step which will do the painting we are not doing that so now the color should change and this will not be stuck in infinite thing and it works for this case so let's go ahead and submit and the solution is accepted in c plus plus so let's copy it for java no more changes required I guess let's see and this works so let's submit and the solution is accepted in Java as well finally we will write it in Python 3 
and that's it. This should work. Uh, okay. R is not defined. Yes, R is fine. Here, R is not defined. So this works in Python. Let's submit. And the solution is accepted in Python as well. 